Good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this video, we will learn how can you set up AWS EC2 instance and install Postgres database into it. Yes friends, we will learn in this video how can you install Postgres database into AWS EC2 instance and access it from your local. We will learn how can you configure Postgres database, how can you install it into EC2 instance and then how can you access it outside the ec2 instance so this is going to be very exciting friends we are going to learn a lot of things in this video we are going to learn ec2 instance setup we are going to learn the installation of postgres database so stay with me till end of this video there are a lot of so friends here is the agenda for today what we'll do is we'll create and set up aws ec2 instance and then we'll connect that ec2 instance from our local putty we'll install the postgres database into that instance and then we'll configure the postgres database later we'll connect the postgres database from our local database tool that is db viewer or pg admin tool then we'll create a schema and table in the postgres database from our local so we'll connect the postgres database from our local and the database is running into ec2 instance right Okay, friend. So before we proceed in this video, so let's understand what we are trying to achieve in this video. So this is architecture diagram. So this will tell you what exactly we are doing in this video. So the blue area, what you see is the AWS, and then in AWS we'll have that EC2 VM instance running, and then what we'll do is we'll be downloading the Postgres database from internet and installing it on EC2 instance. Right, and then we'll configure that Postgres database so that we can access it from outside. Then, once it is ready, we will be running our database tool. The database tool will connect to the Postgres DB running into EC2 instance, and then we'll create schemas and table into it. Right, so very simple exercise. Right, we will do that in this video, friends. Before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow. Code One Digest family, friends. I am creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I am not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share, and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay, friends. So now what we'll do is let us open AWS console and try to set up our EC2 instance. So in Google, search for AWS EC. AWS console login. Yeah, so it will take you to AWS management console. You have to log in. If you don't have an account, you can create a free account. It is free to create. I have already created an account. That is why I am logged in with that account. Now, here we are going to create an EC2 instance. So in a search box type EC2. You can see that EC2 services listed here. Click on that EC2. You will be taken to a EC2 dashboard. Right. Then on your left hand side, you have to create on instances. You see here on left hand side, this instances. As of now, I'm not running any instances. Hence, it is not listed here. Right. So we have to launch an instance click on this right top corner yellow button launch instances right now you will land on this page where you will be setting up your ec2 vm instance you have to provide certain details here like name of your server and the detail and configuration and so on so we'll do that okay so let me provide details to create this EC2 instance, so I am going to give code one digest. EC2 instance demo. Right? So this is the name I am giving. Then I am taking this Amazon Linux default operating system this is the server i am going to take and instance type i am taking t2 micro 
you can select other instances as well but i think for this demo this t2 micro is more than enough i don't want hi-fi configuration one cpu and one giga bit of memory is more than enough now here we have to create a key value pair so that you can securely connect to this instance from your local terminal from your local putty so if you don't have i even i don't have a key value pair so we can create a new key value pair this is easy to create i can say code one digest key value i will take it as a rsa and i will download it as a ppk file because i am going to use it in putty okay let me create this yeah so that ppk file is downloaded we have to keep that ppk file safe and secure later we will use this ppk file to log in into our ec2 instance once we launch the ec2 instance then from putty using this ppk file will be connecting to it okay i'll show you that fine so that key pair, key value pair is selected here now let's create a network settings for our ec2 instance click on edit to update network settings here we will be creating a firewall rule that will important to run our application so if you see here we have a default virtual private network and then i am not using any subnet let it be default and it's saying auto assign public ip enable it is creating a security group for me with this name launch wizard one and so on now here you see there's a couple of security group rules are defined which is allowing that ssh tcp on 22 port this is used to connect the putty connection then source type anywhere what we are going to do is now we are going to add a new security rule with our custom tcp okay we'll say tcp from anywhere and we'll say 8080 okay so source type we have selected anywhere and then we said 8080 8080 once this is done a storage let it be with the default configuration of one pack of 8 gb right with gp2 root volume and in advanced detail we don't have to change anything let it be default configuration as is and just click on launch button on your right bottom corner yeah it will take a couple of minutes to launch your instance yeah it says the instance is launched successfully now what we want to do is we want to connect to this instance so click on this connect to your instance it will open a new window and it will guide you how can we connect to this instance we want to connect to that instance using ssh client so we'll follow this instruction now i'll show you how can we connect to this instance from our local let's see that okay friends now what we'll do is we'll connect this ec2 instance with our putty from our local so let me open the ssh client that is putty i'm using and then we'll follow the instruction given here so this is my is a host name of that server so that i have to use here in the session okay as a host name that i have given then go to connections in ssh go to auth and then here select that ppk file that we have downloaded due while creating the secret key pairs so i'll just load that this is my ppk file open that and click on open right so here it will ask for a username so if you see in this command the user is ec2 user so this user name we have to use and give it here yeah and say enter here you go so you are now into that server you have logged in into that server ls pwd yeah and 
just change it to a root user sudo su hyphen root yeah so now we will do a setup as a root and we'll create cd slash let me create and a directory application mkdir apple okay so that application directory cd apl so everything will run here we will keep everything here in this directory so okay now let me install the postgres on our ec2 instance for that we have to update certain repository we have to install epel let me do that yes say yes yeah this is done next step is we have to run this whole command to add the repository from where we can download this postgres yeah so it is added then we'll create some cache Installing Mac cache created, then it is this is a command to install our Postgres 14. So now it will download 14 and install it. Downloading, yes. So it says complete installed application complete let us initialize the database is a command to initialize database first time so that it will create all the required file inside a data directory initializing database it says yes that's okay it is done then we can go our con file is at this location we can Enable it and create a link using system CTL command so that it will be accessible. Yeah, created system link. Then let us see the status of Postgres 14. It is running, or what is the status? So, yeah, it is running. It is up and running if you see. And then we will change to Postgres user sudo su hyphen Postgres. Yes, and then we can do psql to go inside the SQL prompt. psql. Yes, so we are into Postgres. Let me create a duplicate session ec2 user. Yes sudo su hyphen root now let me go to a file where we have our configuration file let us see cd this so we have postgres vi postgres so here in this file we will be updating the ip address from where we are going to allow the connections Okay, so now what we'll do is in this file, we will be configuring so that it can allow the connection from any server. Let me copy this, paste this is equals to star. Yeah. And let's save this. Yes, we have saved this. And now we'll restart our service stop yeah it stopped now we'll start it yes let's see yep it started now sudo su hyphen postgres 
psql slash l that is listing what all users and databases we have so this is a postgres database slash c connect postgres yes so we are now connected to postgres right so it is working now what we do is uh, we will try to connect to this database on ec2 server from our local using database tool like pg admin or db viewer i am using db viewer but you can choose to use pg admin as well so before we proceed for the connection uh, we have to update and allow all the server to connect to database so hence we have to go and update in pg underscore hba dot con file go to your data directory of postgres inside data directory you will find vipg underscore hba dot conf open that and search for here so at this line you will see it is allowing only local host connection now what we do is we will add a line to allow all the connection from everyone and for that we have to add this line all all zero zero that means we are allowing a connection from all the servers paste it we are saying host host all then all and from all the servers yes yes okay so now what we have to do is we have to add this line post all all from all the server and method must be trust so that it can authenticate it against the username and password you have to use method trust not md5 so update that in pg underscore hva dot conf i have done it in pg underscore hba dot conf now what we'll do is we'll stop and start the service system ctl status postgres sql iphone 14 yes it is running what we'll do is we'll stop now we'll start enter start it check this status again yep it is up and running okay friends so now what we'll do is we'll try to connect our db viewer tool to this postgres database running on ec2 instance so i have opened so i have opened my db viewer tool i don't have a connection i am going to create a connection here now but before that i have to create a driver so i'll be creating a driver of postgres database yes yes so now if we see postgres sql i will say ec2 this driver configuration the host name of our server is this so i'll be giving that here in host name yes and the port 5432 and database that will take is postgres yeah so your postgres 5432 postgres so this is the one and library so here we have to add a jar add a file that jar file project the driver class we have to add postgres driver class okay this jar file we have added so that we can find this class find say okay it is saved and close it now click on the right side in database navigator file a new connection and we'll select postgres the driver that we have created just now next so here we have to give that host name again 
we take that host name and paste it database name postgres we are connecting on 5432 user postgres and password postgres and strike connection yes so it is saying connected very good just say finish so now if you see we are now able to connect to that postgres database running on a server let's see what is there inside that so we have one default database that is postgres database inside that let's see what all schema we have so it has public schema that is default what we'll do is now we'll create our own schema and we'll create our own tables okay friends so now i am connected to postgres database and i am creating this schema customer microservice demo let's do that and we are saying it is authorized by postgres user that means the postgres user will be owner of that schema yes it is created let's see let's refresh this and if see if the schema is created yeah so this schema is created now what we'll do is we'll create a table here inside this okay let me do that okay friends so now i'll create a table inside this schema using this command if you see create table this is my schema name and this is a table name with four attributes id name role and age with primary key as a id right let me select this and create yeah so the table is created let me refresh this yes so now this is created and let's see what all columns we have id name and yeah so now what we'll do is we'll try to insert some data in it and then we'll test it copy paste we'll say 1001 name pavan role employee and let's say age is 30 let me insert this data yes it is inserted now let's fire select query and see if we are getting the data select star from yes yes so we got the data it is absolutely working fine and let let fire a query dot customer where name is equals to pavan let's see if this works it is able to find by name yes it is working fine so we have successfully created a schema we have created a table we have inserted data and now we have fired a query on it so we have successfully set up the postgres database on our ec2 instance okay friends now let me summarize what we have learned in this video we have done the setup of ec2 instance from zero we created ec2 instance then we opened the port 5432 so that we can connect our postgres database from outside as the postgres database runs on 5432 then we have installed the postgres database into it and then we have configured the postgres database we have done the configuration in postgres sql.conf and po pg underscore hba.com to allow connection from outside from all the servers and then we connected postgres database from our local machine using db weaver tool and pg admin tool and then we created our custom schema table and we have inserted data into it and we have fire query onto the database schema friends right. if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you